We have talked a lot about Mario. I mean, seriously, we talked about Mario everything. But there's just one series I feel like we need to give just as much love because they have consistent releases and put out games almost every single year, and that's my boy Kirby. Yes, approaching 2024, there's one thing that we gotta talk about is what are we gonna get Kirby related? I know The Forgotten Land just came out in 2022, so clearly we're not getting a huge brand new Kirby game anytime soon, but I still wanna talk about it and also anything else that Kirby can put out, including smaller games, ports, remasters, maybe even some free eShop games or cheap ones but yeah i want to kind of go through kirby everything including what we already got to show you guys that it's very possible we could get still tons of kirby goodness even though how labs has spoiled us as of recently but let's not waste any more time and let's jump all the way back to 2017 and we got kirby battle royale which was a mini and many 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 battle royale which only had like four kirby's in a small arena duking it out but kind of in a 3d space which was different at the time because we really didn't see a 3d kirby because alongside that year we got blowout blast which also put kirby in a first time ever 3d space it wasn't big it was just some floating 3d blocks and you know the sky and you would do some challenges on some challenge courses but yeah it was actually still a lot of fun to see kirby move around in 3d and people loved it which would eventually lead to the forgotten land years later. Move on to 2018, we got Kirby Star Allies, which would be the Switch's first real big Kirby game. And it was this big 2D Kirby game, which was kind of a celebration of the series. It kind of felt like its last big hurrah before moving on to 3D, where it had all of the characters from the past Kirby games, and they were playable, which was really cool. Now, I'm not a big fan of this game. I do feel like it played it extremely safe, and it felt like the levels were things that we've seen before. But still, it was awesome to see all these characters in one big kind of anniversary feeling game. 2019, we were still getting 3DS games. Can you believe that? We got Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, which was just Epic Yarn again with some additional add-ons and stuff. Um, but we also got Super Kirby Clash, which we've already gotten on the 3DS a while ago. But this one is now on the Switch, which actually allows us to battle lots of bosses with Kirby teammates in this grand fashion. And you got to see lots of bosses that appeared in past Kirby games, which is just always a lot of fun. Even in 2020, we got something with Kirby Fighters 2. Yes, first one being on the 3DS once again with Kirby Fighters 2, you're just kind of battling other Kirbys in this giant 2D arena. And these arenas were also based off of different stages from past Kirby games, once again, just feeling like an anniversary thing. And yeah, you could battle friends, battle people online. It was fun. It was just kind of like beating each other up. So like Kirby Smash Brothers. So we didn't have anything in 2021, which was like one of the only years in the last seven years we didn't have a Kirby game, but in 2022, obviously we saw why, because we got the first ever 3D Kirby game with Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which was one of the biggest Kirby games ever, and I think it was already the most best-selling, which is just crazy. I love that game. I don't have to go any further with it, but we also somehow got Kirby's Dream Buffet, which was like this little eShop game that we could play, and we could roll around as Kirby, you know, and the online was spotty, you know, thanks to the Nintendo Switch um, and its servers, but yeah, it, it still was a really cool idea. And of course, here in 2023, we got probably my favorite 2D Kirby game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Oh, this was a lot of fun to revisit this game and also have all the additions that they added. A post game, an extra battle arena, you know, tons of extra side modes and collectibles and a mini game castle with 10 mini games that you could play with your friends. It was it, it was pretty awesome. Nintendo kind of snapped with this remaster and remake or whatever you call it. Um, but I was so glad to actually see this on the Switch. So yeah, they were still pumping out games even this year. All right, enough about the old stuff. We are now in 2024. Well, almost. So it's time to talk about the future of Kirby. And I just want to kind of start off with the big and work our way down the list. So of course, the next 3D Kirby game. Obviously, The Forgotten Land sold so well, How Labs is definitely going to stick with the 3D Kirby, and it's probably going to be within the same confinements, probably like that Mario 3D World linear fixed levels, you know, you can't really open world explore or anything like that, and that's perfectly fine for Kirby. I think they need to just keep making games like this for a while. I think that's perfectly fine. They don't need to expand into some giant open world Breath of the Wild style thing. Um, yeah, maybe they can make a Kirby game with more of a movable camera 
uh, that could be something that happens, or maybe even an open sandbox, kind of like Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, uh, Mario Odyssey. But what they're doing right now is perfectly fine. But before we see that, it probably won't be in, uh, another four or five years, probably. Uh, it could maybe hit late 2025. So I'm saying around 2025, 2026, it's going to be a very long time until we see 3D Kirby again. What about a brand new 2D Kirby game? This one, I'm actually not sure on. Unless how Labs like expanded and has a absolutely huge team now where they can work on both 2D and 3D games and get them out like every two years, that would be phenomenal. But honestly, I don't even know if that's a reality right now. It might be one or the other. And right now, I don't see how Labs going back to another just traditional 2D Kirby game after how well The Forgotten Land did. So... Will we see any new 2D Kirby games anytime soon? Probably not, honestly, especially with Return to Dreamland Deluxe just coming out. They're going to want to keep expanding on that 3D formula for a while. So I would not kind of look forward to any 2D Kirby game unless it's a remaster or remake or a port of an older game. And speaking of, what about ports slash remasters? Well, there's still a lot up their sleeves that they could do. Triple Deluxe or even Planet Robobot would be awesome to see on the Switch. I mean, we just got Luigi's Mansion 2 announced and it's coming next summer. These games cannot just die off on the Switch. We gotta see these games return. So I would love it if HAL Labs gave us like a two game collection pack with just these two games, maybe added a couple things to them as well and that would have been awesome maybe like one true ultra arena that we could fight all the bosses from both games or something would be awesome in that kind of pack but yeah i would love to see those games make a return they definitely deserve as they're some of the best 2d kirby games in the entire series they cannot be left on a 3DS. These I could see happening in either 2024 or 2025. But moving on, you could also do Kirby Air Ride from the GameCube. People really love that game and would love to see it return. Kirby Superstar once again could come back in just like a new modern way like Mario RPG, even though we already had Superstar Ultra. Why not give us Superstar Deluxe or something? Who knows? But yes, we also have Kirby's Epic Extra Yarn on the 3DS, and it's only been on Wii and 3DS. Why not bring it to HD onto the Switch? So Kirby's Extra Epic extremely extra epic yarn or something. I, I don't know. Next up, what about some spinoffs? We know how Labs loves to give us some juicy Kirby spinoff goodness into the eShop. So maybe some smaller ones like Kirby Switch Battle Royale. We already have Battle Royale, but imagine an actual Battle Royale. And now that I think about it, this could be bigger than I initially thought. Imagine we had like 50 Kirbys. You could design your own Kirby, his color, the color of his shoes, his outfit, everything. And you could drop them to a mini map with different little locations that you could go around and find enemies where you can capture them and use their copy ability. And the more people you kill or the more like power ups you get or something, I don't know, you collect something by opening chest or something, you get to level up that power ability. Kind of like Kirby in the Forgotten Land where you could level up your copy ability to be different like you could have not just one hammer but two hammers or you could have the giant squeaky hammer and stuff like that oh that would be so good and you could go around it's the last kirby standing wins this could be nintendo's actual first real battle royale not tetris 99 stuff no not f099 not mario 35 we're talking about an actual kirby battle royale baby this could be awesome, seriously, like 50 real players around the world playing in a little arena, last Kirby standing wins. Come on, Hal, you can do it. Nintendo servers stink, but you could still do it. Something else we could get is brand new challenge courses, whether they be in 2D or 3D. In 3D, let's take The Forgotten Land for an example. The Forgotten Land has some really cool challenge courses called Treasure Road, where you are granted a copy ability and you have to get through this little obstacle course and get to the end within a specific time, which is a lot of fun to complete. Sometimes you also had to use mouthful mode abilities, but I would love a whole game that was just kind of dedicated to going through 3D obstacle courses is kind of like blowout blast again but you have to use your copy abilities and do it at a specific time and stuff just some really challenging little levels that we can complete would be awesome and once again just like in 2d kirby we have challenge rooms in kirby's return to dreamland they returned in return to dreamland deluxe they were even in kirby's dream collection on the wii so i would love to see just more rooms with even more copy abilities because there's so many copy abilities out there that they could bring back and have like a cool obstacle course with them where you have to collect the coins defeat all the enemies and get to the end 
in really quickly and I would love to try to platinum all those courses and stuff and see the optimal ways to do it. It really makes you get the most out of every copy ability and I would love to see that again. I would also love to see Kirby Fighters and even Kirby Clash in 3D. Imagine fighting your opponents not in 2D like Smash Brothers but like in a 3D Smash Brothers arena where you can just fight which is kind of like Kirby Battle Royale on the 3DS so I guess it would be the same thing uh, but yeah. I, I, I guess Kirby Clash then. Kirby Clash would be awesome to see some of those bosses again, but this time in 3D. Krakow in 3D. You know, King DDD in 3D like Blowout Blast again. And just Wispy Woods in 3D like Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Just more enemies like that transitioning into the 3D landscape would be awesome. And just, you know, the same thing. You pick a certain class, like a mage or a swordsman or something, and you just fight some of these bosses, but now in a small 3D arena would be a lot of fun. Maybe even like a Colosseum game mode like in the Kirby and the Forgotten Land like that's what that game's arena was so something along those lines would be really cool. Look if we can have an Animal Crossing amiibo festival which is like a Mario party for Animal Crossing but worse why can't we have a Kirby party game? Yeah just like Super Kirby Party or something where we actually could have mini games. I mean literally look at the mini games from Kirby's Return to Dreamland and just like minimize them and make them even smaller. Well at least Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe and you could have some really fun experiences. Imagine tons of little mini games that you can play and a couple boards and stuff that you get to play on. Like that could be really really cool. I would actually dig that. Of course it'd be a little different from Mario Party maybe with different you know gimmicks and stuff with the boards that makes it different but yeah the mini games the boards uh maybe some boss battles thrown in there for some reason i don't know they could do something with a kirby party game that's what return to dreamland deluxe definitely showed me with the magalore castle thing i mean you could even use mary magaland again they recreated this whole castle themed area for mini games so why not keep using it you know use it for a kirby party game i think that would be awesome but yeah do it, Hal Labs, do it. And last but not least, yes, I think there could be kind of just one weird, wacky, off the wall one that maybe we weren't expecting, like another new. Kirby's Dream Course. I would love that. It's kind of like Kirby Golf and just have these like new fun environments and enemies and obstacles and stuff. I, I actually would love that. I think Kirby's Dream Course is so underrated. But uh, maybe something else along the lines of like Kirby Mass Attack where you had like all these little Kirbys you had to manage. Something just completely different than traditional Kirby that just throws us off. But it's still like a full-fledged game that we can buy and play or maybe we get a rhythm game like king ddd's drum dash and it's kind of like in collaboration with rhythm heaven or something probably not because like where's rhythm heaven at this point but that's for another video but yeah some something you know rhythm based i know kirby series has got a lot of great music and it's known for it's just great music so maybe they could do something along those lines who knows so honestly if you're a kirby fan it always seems like there's something to look forward to in the future whether it's a big game or a small game it looks like how labs has a super Super bright future. But let me know in the comments down below what Kirby game are you expecting next? Give me your craziest ideas. Give me what you want to see next, whether it's big, small, a free eShop game, whatever it is. Let me know down below. And thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And real quick, before you go, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we have a big Mario Kart live stream happening where we are playing through all 96 tracks in the game for charity. So come join the stream. Down below is a link to the live stream that's already been posted so you can get in there and prepare and even hit your notification bell. But feel free to tune in whether you're donating or not. It is for a good cause. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.